This is our 2018 Grand Design Momentum 397TH. This is the master bedroom. It has a, a custom cut king bed for it. Closet. Storage in the back. Uh, storage along the wall over here too. And then also prepped for a washer and dryer. TV in here as well. And you come out to the bath, first bath. It has storage behind here. Porcelain toilet. Storage above and below the sink. And then a extra large shower with a seat and then it has a max air fan in here uh, the bedroom also does have an air conditioner this is the kitchen living room lots of storage along that wall four-door refrigerator uh, stove and cooktop and convection oven which is residential size which we use a lot works great uh, three burner stove um, oven also I have a pan stored in there right now um, storage over here also Cabinets. Oops, sorry, that's our duster. Um, sinks in the island. Both have covers. Stainless steel. Um, both pretty deep as well. Um, that's the main door. Um, we upgraded to the screen defenders and the crossbars so they're easier in and out and have the upgraded stairs and two handrails on that. Uh, this is your one control system and the main control for the RV locks. And uh, also the sound, Jensen sound systems in here also. We have a surge guard system too. Uh, this is the super sofa option. Um, it's really comfortable. Um, all of the headrests move forward and back um, and then each reclines as well um, the end ones also have a tray at them and then heat massage um, and then there's a light system underneath it as well um, the whole RV has these really nice blackout shades so those make it nice when you're trying to keep light out for cooling. Um, the island also has bar stools. Um, this is the barn type flooring that's in here throughout. This is the pantry. You have to excuse, it's kind of messy. Uh, has a lot of storage. We also use uh, storage on the door as well. There's also storage up top. And then we also have more storage above the TV and a fireplace that also has a blower on it and a temperature setting as well as a timer. Um, and this one has the 
Coleman mock air conditioning also. Um, this unit also has the optional heat pump too. Um, so we got all sorts of options for heating and things when you're on the road. Um, this area right here is typically a bunk. Um, we have it organized for storage. Um, we had a custom built door put on it. Uh, but uh, you can put a small, they had a small single bunk up there. We don't have the bedding any longer, but we use it for storage, so. Um, all of the blinds have custom surrounds around them, um, all in good shape. There's the sofa. Um, the sofa is actually this polyhide uh, type. It's stain resistant, really easy to wipe off. Um, and then also there's two bar stools for seating as well. So, um, and then you go into the garage. Uh, we are in office mode right now, so our motorcycles are outside. Um, there's a nice door on here that keeps the heat and cool out. So we're set up in office mode right now. So basically we put the 8x10 shag carpet that we purchased down over top of the coin flooring for the toy hauler. And then this is a desk area where I can work. Um, it's a custom custom desk top that we had put on top of the supports for the happy jack and then this is an area where my husband can tinker as well um, both of these were custom made by a carpenter that we know they both have a protective top on them also um, this does have the uh, three season doors they have the screens in them right now they also have a set of plastic that goes over them also um, that you can use too and then these items here are a new set of happy jack sofas jackknife sofas that we got that will go back on these supports if someone wants to convert back to um, the dining setup that they usually have which those face each other um, or you can flatten them to make a bed um, or when they're facing each other, you can just insert a table between them and use them for some eating area. Um, this is the other door in the back here. Um, as you see, there's diamond plate on the lower part of the toy hauler area. Sorry for all of our water in here um, and our shoe rack. Uh, you also have some storage up top here um, on both sides, uh, TV back here also. Um, and then there is also an air conditioner unit, a Coleman mock air conditioner. We use the upper bunk as storage right now, but you can, um, we do have an air mattress that we put up there if we have company, but right now we only use it for storage. So, um, again, the back door has the screen defenders and the crossbars on it to make it a little easier to close and shut. Um, and then also the last thing in the back area is um, this is a half bath. Um, it actually has a sink, another porcelain toilet, and then there's the basin for the shower. Um, and then there's the top for the shower to for the rod and the curtain. Um, we uh, have always used this as storage, so there's a shelf in there. We have a protective piece of carpeting underneath there and padding. And we've always just used it for our storage area, but you also have some storage along here too. Um, and then we try to utilize the doors too for storage. So we do have a, a hanging rack on there also. So um, air conditioning, I think I said also out here too. So again, this is the setup mode for the garage here when the toys are out so and again kitchen dining um, we just put up a bar here that we kind of section that off with a curtain um, that just comes down it's detachable in kitchen dining area super sofa 
Um, each of these units can be taken out. So if you did want to condense it down to a two or three person sofa, you could do that. They're on a track system. If you did want to remove them and have a dinette or something in here, but um, for us it worked better to have the super sofa. So, and then again, uh, up to bedroom, last look. And then the full bathroom up top here. Okay, that's everything then. Thanks so much.